Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Dubai, the UAE, and today I'm hanging out with my great friend, Peyman, who you probably remember from a video that we made a couple of years ago. The hissing of yeah. skin, wow. Peyman is an amazing guy, and we both share a love for traveling and delicious food. Today, we are meeting up with a chef at a park right here in Dubai, and he's gonna prepare for us a massive Emirati seafood and rice tray. And I'm gonna share this entire experience and all of the delicious Emirati food with you coming up in this video. Are you gonna have 20 of these, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> So Pimmin, where are we where are we heading to? So we're in Mushrif National Park and this park is beyond the airport in the opposite direction of where you normally go, like Dubai Mall and Jumeirah uh -huh. and Dubai Marina. The opposite side. And it's a lot more green as well. Yeah, there's like a little oasis here. Yeah. And and this park is, is super old. It's been around for like 30, 40 years. Okay. And we used to come here when we were young in the 80s to, to pick mushrooms. Oh, nice. <laughs> so we used to have barbecues and things like that, so it's really, really awesome. nice here. The weather is nice this afternoon. Oh, look, yeah. today the weather is great. Yeah. It's perfect. I think this is the spot right here. Beautiful today, under the shade, it's cool, it's breezy. I think this is where we're gonna set up, we're gonna start cooking, where we're gonna eat. We've met up with Chef Mohammed. Very nice to Hi, meet you. you. Thank you very You're much. You're gonna be cooking nice today. To yeah, today we're gonna cook a local uh, baby shark fish. Oh, nice. Yeah, with the spice and uh, some chili, local spice and dry lemon, you know. Awesome. Baby and shark. We're gonna do yes. Yes. Awesome. local fish. Okay, and, uh, we've got a uh, fish too. Kubab. Oh wow. It's like a tuna family. Okay. Uh, this one is a local shrimp from the Gulf. I can already see in our future a giant tray <laughs> of rice and seafood on top. Oh man. <laughs> we are in the right hands here. Yeah. And the shark dish. It's not a baby shark. They're small reef sharks. Okay. So people kind of, a lot of times they say, oh, it's the baby shark. It's not a baby shark. It's just the size of sharks that we have in the Gulf and they're small. Like okay. That. Yeah. And I think we should just, we should probably just clear that up right now that it's not a, it's not an endangered shark. It's a, it's a very common to eat, right? It's very common to eat. It's very, a big part of the culture. Correct. And, and, uh, and a lot of times you're not allowed to fish it all year long. There's specific times to ah, make sure that there's- Sustainable. You know, sustainable. Oh wow. Like this. Oh. All inside the meat. Yeah. What's this marination, chef? It's uh, coriander, onion, garlic, ginger, and chili. You can immediately yeah. smell, it. smell it. Yeah. Oh, and this is another marination here? Yeah. Another paste. You're gonna put on the stomach like this. Oh. To get the flavor. That looks like um, stuffed fish. There are three kinds of uh, sauce. We're gonna put it. Fantastic. It's like a combination of herbs and vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah juicy. Yeah. Lemon, it's juicy too. garlic, vinegar. Man. Wow. Nice. Andy, Andy. What the hell is it? Oh, that is quite an impressive marinade action. Three different pastes. Smell all those, all of those onions, the coriander. We're gonna close it with the pepper and pepper. Ah. That's the moment we have a Wrapping in the banana leaf. 
Leaf. This is banana leaves, right? Yeah, it's banana so leaves. This is very Indian, right? Yeah, it's so Indian because we are a near of India. We take yeah. a lot of spice and a lot of type of Indian foods in our food. A lot of our cuisine is influenced by, you know, the early Indians that came to the UAE. So you'll find a lot of the spices we use and the, the preparation methods are, are based on that. Okay, so Chef has fully wrapped that fish, marinated, wrapped. It's going to preserve the fish juices within its its own self so that it's juicy fire is hot fish goes on the grill and chef mohammed is gonna this is, and this is for the yeah, the shark right for the shark so we're cooking on the pan over the fire, the shark. Uh, onion, dry lemon, coriander, uh, some uh, garlic, and we mix it with a lot of uh, uh, black pepper and salt and local spice. Wow. And so that's like a paste, that's the same paste that you yeah, also used on the, the fish a little bit, paste, right? Yeah. In the Marathi cuisine, you'll use like 80% the same spices across all our, our dishes. Okay. Everything he mentioned, that, that pretty much goes in everything that we... The dry lemon. Absolutely. Pepper, so coriander, pepper. Coriander. You'll usually have turmeric in there. Okay. Um, and then everything else kind of additional. Onions, of course. Just an immediate burst Brilliant. of those caramelized onions. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Uh, sizzle. With that, yeah. <laughs> with that spice, that <laughs> ghee <laughs> bubbling. Boil it, minced shark. So it's been boiled already? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, boiled, minced. You can see it's yeah, like it. sh the shredded texture. We're gonna put some coriander. Oh, so that's yeah. fresh coriander. Yeah. Yes. We're put some cinnamon. We have some. Uh, it's ground cardamom it's or ground it's cardamom. the cardamom leaves? It's a ground cardamom. Oh, okay, ground cardamom. Yeah goes in. Oh yeah, it's so aromatic. Some oh, green. And there, to give it some more green. Then we're gonna mix it to get the color from the onion and from the ghee and from the uh, spice. Man, it's looking good, it's smelling good. All those spices, that finishing touch with a sprinkle of cinnamon and a sprinkle of ground cardamom. It really is gonna bring out the aromatics. And I like how it's just like all evenly mixed with that texture too. This one, we can stuff it with uh, sambusa and we can eat it with rice. You can make it, we can make it like a meatball or fishball. Oh, okay. okay. We can nice. do it a lot of things with this one. Common to have it on white rice. You get the white rice, you uh -huh. put a little bit more of that oil on and it. A lot yeah. of green chili. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah. man. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Try. Okay. Okay. More. Oh, okay. That's too, that's too little. It's a little bit hot. <laughs> okay, no problem. Oh, ready? Okay, let's go. Mm. Shark. Mm. 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 Fourth mm. time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so you supplied the shark. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, that's caramelized onions that's good, in there. Right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. We'll have the shark lastly. Oh man, the spice in there. Mm. The the citrusiness of it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that from the it's dry like, lemon? Yes, it is. So you see the, the dry lemon, there's a little bit of bitterness in it as well. Yeah. So you get that citrus and you get a little bit of bitter. Oh, man. <laughs> so the shark is ready. Next up for the shrimp, which are jumbo shrimp. They've been butterfly cut already. They've been deveined, and those go directly onto the hot charcoal. Zafran sauce, mayo, garlic, and local spice. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna use red sauce, we have a local sauce and we have the zafaran sauce, we kind of put it too. Oh. I try to find it, or I find it from the South African style. Ooh. Okay. Okay. They're fresh from today. Yeah. yeah. Tomato paste, garlic and local spice. Thailand. Oh, yeah. Small biah. The smaller, uh, what is the name? Is it a mullet? A mullet? Uh, yeah, it's a mullet, yes, yes. It's yes, a mullet, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. This one oven. is a local yeah. uh, style for grill. Only you put the salt and you put the full fish on the fire direct. Okay. Red Hello. What? 
ايه لا لا هم سايرين طلع عمرك العين اه هو خرب الجدول مالنا فات كل شيء فات المنذر او حليل يقول مروا عليه الميل اسحب لورا خد راحتك هذا يسحب وتفرش واحده تحت هنا هات لا لا هات لا لا خلاص خلاص حق منو بتخليها؟ يا ان يو كان جيت ذس اول امبارح قلت 20 ابوي حرج علي اوه هي بس انا اخذت ذيس يسترداي لا اي ايت 20 يسترداي ماي فاذرز بي جو وات تايم ويت باي فينيش لا 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 هيوج فيش بس 20 اوف ذا مسوي لي جلاس حلول ريسبكت اند باي ذا واي هي از ذا احمد احمد يو ار ذا سبلاير اوف ذا سي فود رايت هي نوز هي نوز هيز سي فود Oh, the char. For oil, oil. The oil is oil. coming out. Yeah? The oil. Yeah. Give them, give them. Just M.A. No, I don't think I'm going to Try. Oh. Thank you. A shrimp with some of that marinade tomato. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Skin too. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can eat the skin too. Yeah. Because it's fully crispified. Oh man. That char. The freshness. Oh man. The fire. With the skin. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. like a crispy wow. chip. Mm. Yeah, you see, you can crunch right through the skin, right? Mm. It's like fully crispified. Wow, that's fantastic. And that marinade? Oh, brilliant. The freshness? Brilliant. Oh, wow. It's like a, it's like a kebab. Mm. Just like a natural. Mm. That's amazing. And that fire now is just roaring, but that's the way, that's what you want is that smokiness, that char. Oh yeah, my arm is about to burn off. But wow, man, just bathe in that smoke, that aroma, the fresh seafood. Fire and fresh seafood. That's a combination that will never get old. Oh man, with a little bit of little onions, bit of fried onions, a little bit of saffron, give it a, just a little fragrance. It's very buttery, very oily. Oh, oh yeah, you see it glistening. Those trays of rice are going to be the base for the fish, for the grilled seafood. And then you can just see how fluffy, how fluffy that rice is. The oil's coming out of the fish. Yeah. Man, that's gonna give them an unbelievable smokiness. Hissing. Okay. Yeah. Skin. Wow. So the salt kind of protects the fish almost, right? Oh man, it's red fish. fish. It's basically red snapper in a in a stew. Onion and tomato, and we Beautiful. cook it with a paste and <laughs> shrimp tray is ready. Oh, oh look at that! That's it. Oh man. Wow. Oh man, and they're so aromatic. When you have that shell on the shrimp, it like overemphasizes that aroma of the yeah. shrimp when it's kind of with that high fire. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. Uh, the big tuna is still cooking a little bit longer, but we're gonna get started because we're all hungry. We call it salmon. 
Semen. 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 Okay. And this is actual animal fat oil. All right. So we're gonna put this on the rice, like a good amount. Oh man, melted animal oil. And then grab a little bit of this okay. onto, onto the rice. So just like a, a nice pinch. Take a pinch of the shark. Yeah. Okay. Into into the rice, into the rice with right that there. animal fat. Ah, there we go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh wow. I chase that. Chase that with this. Uh, with that onion. Mm. Straight raw. Sweet. Mmm. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. It seems like we were about to take a huge bite, but it's so fluffy that it just condenses in your mouth. Mmm. How is the food good? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. The flavor of the dry gishid. Yeah. Gishid. And, uh, this is called gishid, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Sir. Let's go straight to Man. this. Okay. Grab yourself a, a quick, a quick piece. Of, okay. Take, take a full one. He took out the head. You have to remove the skinning head. all of it. And take out some of the skin. The skin mm. Oh, so so that's why the skin is almost yeah, burnt, yeah, roasted. Yeah. But you kind of peel that back because the salt crust. The oh, oh yeah. Now you can. Oh yeah, like nice. It. Oh, that's the real way. Okay. Oh. oh. Thank you, chef. Oh, we got the eggs. Oh, that is amazing. The meat yeah. remains so juicy. Mmm. All oh, the eggs. Oh, man. <laughs> they just crumble in your mouth. That's yummy. Oh, man. So that's why you put on such a thick layer of salt and then additionally kept it on such a high fire. Kind of like peels back that skin, revealing the juiciness of the fish underneath. Yeah. Swatting a little bit. It's part of that. Yeah, it's part of the outdoor experience. Yeah. <gasps> mm. Mm. That's mm. so good. With the fragrance of the, the oh, animal fat. Love it. Oh, and the green chilies. Green oh, chilies. Mark. Oh, yeah. That's your specialty. Green chilies, some of the roca. You got to go in with some of the roca. Mm. Yeah. Some more onion. More onion. So how did that matter? Mango. Mango, huh? Mango. Mm. Green mango, nice. Chef, it's so good. Beautiful. I'm gonna scoop in for some of that gravy. So put that right there. Be a there you go. A little bit more. I'm gonna move this here for now. There you go. There we go. One more scoop. Oh, look at that. You can see those, yeah. look at those peppers and tomatoes. <laughs> chunky. And onions. Chunky, but you can see how soft it is. And then we go in for the fish. All right, let's go. Piece of that. Snapper, and these are all local, local fish, local all seafood. Local fish. A handful. Nice. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh wow, yeah. It's tart. Mmm. The tomatoes in there. Oh yeah, man, it's just pleasant. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, mm -hmm. I was gonna use the word mellow. It's mm -hmm. very mellow, very nice. Oh. oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So look at this. Oh, and by the just way, the juicy rubs. You could eat this as well. The outside skin is super bitter. Mm. The inside is actually quite quite good. Oh, that's kind of like you the segments. Yeah. yeah. Let's so try I, a little I, I bit usually, of that. I'll eat the, I'll so eat the inside. Scoop out. Check that out. A dry lemon, which is famous for, especially like Gulf cuisine, right? Absolutely. Um, you scoop out that inside. These are dried. When you see them at the market, these lemons are just like completely solid, dried, completely dehydrated. And then add that to the, to the fish, to the stew. Grab some more fish, some more, mix in with some more rice. Oh, wow. Mm. The immediate burst of the dry lemon. So what Mohammed's done Man. is, all of this, is predominantly the food that people who live oh, next to the sea Thank eat. you. Okay. So you know how it is, Mark? Like, mm -hmm. if, if you were in the UAE, and I'm talking about the 40s, 50s, 60s, if you lived by the sea, mm -hmm. then this is what you eat. You'd see food. So this if is you like... in the desert? Yeah. Then it would be all meat and goat and all that kind of okay. stuff. Okay. Right? So this That's is coastal the... Emirati food. Red or yellow? Uh, I had the red, so let's go yellow. Let's go, let's go yellow. yellow. Look at the size of these. Mm. The moistness, mm. the smokiness, the crunch of the shell. 
And the shell is so thin, right? Very thin. Mm. Wow. And this sauce has no kick to it. There's no like spice spice in it. But, mm. but again, it takes on the smokiness of the grill mm. of the fire. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. The fisherman himself came to deliver us the seafood for lunch today. Yeah. It's What's ready? On, on that bite of shrimp, the, the main event, oh, the tuna's ready. Yeah! Yeah, unwrapping the gift. Oh, you can see all those juices. Yeah. Oh, and the spice paste in there. Oh, oh, oh look at oh, that. It's oh, it's steaming. <laughs> Oh. He's gonna get some some of these pieces with his hands. Amazing. Yeah. Firm. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, just grab a fistful. Look at that meat. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Like, mm. like a steak. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Oh. Go over, chef. Yeah, go over, oh, chef. Oh, that's mm. the way. That's the way. <laughs> oh man. Guys away. You good? We put it in the center. But it's never had as well. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. So we push things aside. I'm gonna take some of the tuna. Oh, oh just who oh, it's hot. Some of the vegetables. Give us some of that oil, Hassan, please. Hassan's yes, oil. Some animal oh just to drench it. Alright. <laughs> a little a little rehydration. Be nice. Yeah, and I love how that that tuna just like you can feel it just flaking in your fingers. This is like a steak. Yeah, it is. Yeah, straight up steak. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, the the freshness. Take a piece of the mango. Green mango. Green mango. To give it even more sourness. Oh yeah. Oh, the fruity touch of that. The green chili to finish it off. Complete the full bite. Oh, wow. Oh, that just like bursts with a fume of chili in your mouth. <laughs> He's like, what did he just do? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's honey for Mark. Just a oh, burst, man. it's honey. <laughs> that's honey. It's sweet. Oh, but, oh, that's flavor. Awesome food. Thank you to Chef Mohammed for his yeah. cooking skills. Thank you, Chef Mohammed. He's right there. Man. Amazing. And to everyone for hosting us here, this is a very special Emirati meal experience. Are you gonna have 20 of these, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> a little drizzle. So this is a, especially a must when you're eating white rice. Oh yeah. And I love how you just grab like giant handfuls yeah. of food and you think, you think it's a huge bite, and it okay, it is a huge bite, <laughs> but like it just goes down. The egg sac. Mm. Yeah. They just crumble in your mouth. This all has kept the fish juicy and moist amidst that fire, that like hard fire. Like scrambled eggs. That's like the yeah, yeah, yeah. egg yolk, right? Okay, moving back to that shark. And you go back to the shark, and immediately that burst of cardamom just bursts in your mouth. That's the real deal. That is it. Yeah. Oh. That shark is out of control. That's not one thing that you can't stop eating. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's exactly right? where I'm still the at shark? as well. Yeah, oh my God, it's too good. We started with a shark, we can't stop. And it just goes down so easily. Oh. It's like a pillow in your mouth. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> you know, the problem is like, you can't stop. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop. <laughs> like it feels light at the same time, it feels like you are eating a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs>
<laughs> it's really good, really good. And then you can chase bites with fresh onion, raw onion, and raka. Mm. It's good. It refreshes the mouth. And chase with a, a green chili. Yeah, that's okay. A little more of that. And that probably is the highlight for me. So, Chef Mohammed, you, what is your restaurant name called? Al Banoush Restaurant. Al, Al Banoush Restaurant. In Al Wasl Club in Dubai. Okay. Welcome, thank you welcome, for, my friend. Thank you for your amazing cooking. Thank you. Amazing. Yes. Chef Mohammed is one of the very few Emirati professional chefs, by the way. Mm. You can count them on maybe two hands. Mm. And he's one of them. He's professionally trained. Thank you. Yes. So, you know his food is good. This was incredible, yes. Thank, thank, thank you, Chef Mohammed. Bye bye. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Incredible. Bye -bye. Oh man, what a meal. And oh man, such a great time hanging out with my friend Payman, eating a delicious meal. And now we're just working off the, the meal with a little walk to see some of the beautiful horses. So they have stables here and they offer horse rides or do people come here to to you can ride you can come and uh, train. You can come in and uh, uh -huh. and go for an hour ride. You can do you know all of it. You can I think you can even keep your horses over here and come, ah, okay. come and ride it as well. So so it's right. kind of like a horse club here. Correct. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. You want it yeah. to be on. You want it to be on camera, oh, huh? Oh man, right. Micah, you can touch. It's very soft. You want to try? She's not camera shy either. No, <laughs> she wants to be on camera the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Michael, hold on to me. Oh man, that that bumping with all the the rice platter in my stomach right now. <laughs> That's aiding in the digestion. <laughs> oh, but this is a beautiful and it's in, it's so cool that this we're like right in the middle of Dubai. This is a huge park and I love how it's so natural. Natural desert, the sand, the shrubs and trees. And uh, he was mentioning to us that this is one of the biggest forests in the UAE, right? What a beautiful evening in Dubai. We're back to the city part of Dubai, although we were in Dubai even at the park. We ended up sitting around having tea and some desserts and talking for a while this evening. And that wraps up what was a spectacular Emirati seafood meal. A big thank you to Chef Mohammed and a huge thank you to Payman for arranging, for setting everything up. I want to say a big thank you to you also for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. See you on the next video. Good night from Dubai.